Today I got a tip to help prolong your ammunition's life, make it easier to organize when storing, and virtually make it weatherproof when you're out on the hunt. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter, bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can make your life a little simpler. You know, vacuum sealers have so many uses, but today I'm gonna to show you how I use it to prolong the life of my ammunition. Every vacuum sealer works similar. There's a section where you put the open-ended bag in where it pulls the suction, removing all the air. When the air is gone, it triggers the heating element to seal the two sides of the bag together. What's nice about these products is it allows you to use the heating element to seal the bag even if you don't want to pull the air out. I use the Food Saver VAC 420 and I buy the roll of bags. The reason I like the roll of bags is because you can cut the bags to the size you want and not waste. Now the bag's a little bit pricey, but this vacuum saver I got for a dollar at a garage sale. For demonstration purposes, I'll use my 12 gauge shotgun shells. I'll measure out the size of the bag I need, then I'll cut it out. Now you'll see that there are several ends that you'll need to seal to turn it into a bag. The way you want to do this is take the end you want to seal off and make sure it's not overlapping in where the device pulls suction. I personally store my 12 gauge shells in a group of five. Then I cut off the label of the box and stick it in with the shells. Finally, I'll take the open end of the bag and place it so it's in the vacuum channel. I simply press down and allow the sealer to remove the air and seal the bag. Then I just set it aside and place it in storage, knowing that when I do need it, it will be dependable because it's airtight with no moisture. For my nine millimeters, I'm able to get 25 rounds per bag. As for my 22 long range, I get 50 rounds in per bag. And finally, for my 5.56, I get 20 rounds in for bag. One thing to keep in mind with something like 5.56 or 2.23 where it's a sharper round is sometimes pulling that vacuum will actually puncture the bag and then what's the point of doing it? So one thing you may consider doing is just seal the bag. I don't want to waste any more of the bag than I have to. So with the bag that I have left over from when I take out 9mm, 5.56, or the shotgun shells, I can reuse those by putting 22 long rifle in and resealing them. Another thing I do is I make sure that I store a cheap pair of scissors in with each box of ammo. This way, heaven forbid I forgot my knife, I still have a way to open up the bags. So what's nice about this is your ammo is easily organized into different containers or packs it is a system that allows you to easily figure out just how many rounds you have left since you know the denomination of each bag. And by vacuuming all the air out, moisture, ammunition's enemy, is held at bay. And when you take it out into the field, it is protected until you decide to use it. This is a cheap, easy way to organize and protect your ammo. If you're interested in any of the items here that I use to create this hack, and you want to support the channel, Check the description below for the links. I'm the OCD Hunter, and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Remember to like and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos.